All right, so here we have uh, 10.2 simplifying radical expressions. Remember, radical is the square root. So we have the square root of x squared is x, which you should already know. The square root of x cubed, well, that's the same as x squared times square root of x. So we have square root of x squared times square root of x. If I multiply those together, I get that. Okay, then the square root of x squared is x, which we just did over there, times the square root of x. So the square root of x cubed is x times the square root of x. Another way of looking at it is this way. Square root of x cubed, square root of x squared times x. Again, the square root of x squared is x, and we get square root of x. Square root of AB is square root of A times square root of B. Those are equal. So here we have the square root of 8 is equal to the square root of 4 times 2. And we know the square root of 4 is 2, so we get 2 times the square root of 2. So, number 1, simplify the square root of 180. The first thing I'm going to do is the prime factorization of 180. So that's 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. Then I'm going to be putting them together in pairs. So 2 times 2 is 2 squared. 3 times 3 is 3 squared. And then the 5. I know the square root of 2 squared. I know the square root of 3 squared. And then the square root of 5 just stays square root of 5. So the square root of 2 squared is 2. The square root of 3 squared is 3. And the square root of 5 stays square root of 5. 2 times 3 is 6, so I get 6 square root of 5. This is 36. If I square it, 36 times 5 is 180. It's a way of kind of checking. Number 2. Uh, it gets a little blurry over there, huh? Let's see. Hopefully that's better. So we have square root of 28. 2 times 2 times 7 is 28. So I have 2 squared and 7, and the square root of 2 squared is 2. So I get 2 times the square root of 7. Number 3, 162, 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So I did the pair of 3s, another pair of 3s, and then the 2. So square root of 3 squared, square root of 3 squared, square root of 2. 3 times 3 times square root of 2, 9 times the square root of 2. 81 times 2 is 162. And then square root of 4 is 2, the square root of a squared is a. You don't necessarily have to show that step there. Okay, let's take a look at 5. Now, with this, we have 4 times the square root of 10 times 3 times the square root of 6. So 4 times 3 is 12, and the square root of 10 times the square root of 6 is square root of 60. So I already have this 12 out, because I had the 4 and the 3 out. The square root of 60 now, I'm going to do that just like the problems up above, and that is 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Notice the 2 times 2 here is going to be 2 squared or 4. And then 3 times 5, I can't do anything with that, so that's just going to stay square root of 15. Square root of 4 is 2, so I get, when I pull that out, 12 times 2 is 24, so I get 24 times the square root of 15. 24 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, and then I just leave it a to the 4th b squared. 4, or 2 squared, times 6 a to the 4th, b squared, square root of 4 is 2, square root of a to the 4th is a squared, square root of b squared is b, and I still have the 6 left over, so it's square root of 6. All right, 7, 72, 9 times 8, 16 times uh, or actually 36 times 2. Anyways, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, and then I left these like this, except the b cubed I wrote as b squared and b. 
So we can see that we can do the square root there and then have the b left over. So all of this here is 36 times 2. And then again, what I had for my letters, square root of 36 is 6. Square root of a to the 6th power, there's 6 of them. When I pair them up, I can pull 3 out. So that's why it's a cubed. Square root of b squared is b. Square root of c squared is c. And then I still have the 2 and the b left over, so I have square root of 2b. And that's how you simplify it. Number 9, 98 is 2 times 49. So I did this, when I do the square root of 49 is 7. a to the 4th square root, a squared, b to the 6th, b cubed, c squared is c, and then I still have the 2 left over, so square root of 2. All right, your assignment is page 11. You're going to do the second and third column. I think, actually, I already did the key, and I did the fourth column, too. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Page 11, second and third column. The first column, that's the notes. Okay? You'll notice those match up. Okay? So, you are just to do on page 11 the second and third column. All right. Good luck.